Right guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to Rugby Player Reacts to David Bakhtiari. Um, this has been a video I've done twice before, I feel. In fact, let's check. Nick Minute. Now I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt. I feel like he's been on the list twice before. If not, if I could spell the name correctly, that'd be good. Um, okay, so he was on the list last year. Rugby player reacts to David Bakhtiari. Um, what else we got here? David Bakhtiari. <laughs> Fuck, what am I doing in that one? Um, okay. Yep, that brings back some real memories, man. It really does. I was sitting in my office in Alice Springs with a green screen, trying to put together these, these, these 100 videos last year. And it was a fucking mission. I'll tell you what, but we got there in the end. <laughs> oh, I'm just remembering some of those times. They were good. David Bakhtiari, number 62. 62 on the list. Um, before we get into it, I'd just like to say a big cheers to all you guys out there. One thing I will say is that if you are drinking right now, and I know there's a fair few of you guys out there that finished your day of work, you go home, you pour yourself a nice beverage of your choice and sit down and watch my videos. And to be honest guys, I understand that now. I do. Because of the fact that as soon as I've had a couple of drinks, I enjoy genuinely watching my own videos. I kind of take the fact out of it that I'm the guy reacting. And I just enjoy watching them. I actually do. You know what I mean? If I, if I actually found someone that I respected enough of their opinion, I don't watch reaction videos, guys. Put it out there. I'm going to put it out there right now. I do not watch any reaction videos. I can't because I make so many of them myself. I can't do it. I just can't bring myself to do it because a lot of them are cringe, to be fair. I cringe a lot at them. And so for me to think that way, you know, obviously I'm not going to want to watch my own ones because I do cringe at them at times. But if I've had a couple of drinks, I genuinely enjoy them. So guys, anyone out there who is having a couple of drinks, this is not alcoholic, but it could well be. Enjoy. That's all I want to say. Enjoy. These are for entertainment purposes only. I don't make a whole lot of money off them. It's a passion project. Put it that way. A lot of the things I do, everything I do right now is for passion. Passion only. It's not for money. Certainly not. I'll do something if I'm passionate about it. I'll do something if I want to do it. And what a great way to live. Now, let's have a look at David Bakhtiari. Who the fuck was that asking him the question? Nice arm brace you there. Bakhtiari. Who's that? Who the fuck? Who, who produces these things? What makes him? Ooh, let me see my list. I didn't put any of my numbers out there. Bakhtiari. Bro, what kind of an accent is that? I cannot pick it. I can't pick it. What makes him? Ooh, let me see my list. I didn't put any of my whole army. What is wrong with me? Man. Bro, you're the running back. I'm sorry, Bob. Is that Chris oh, Cast? No, it's not. Aaron Jones. What is wrong with me? Man. I'm sorry, Bob. I've seen that clip. We've all seen that one, right? At the basketball game. <laughs> oh yeah, Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> you want me again? That's fucking hilarious. What a personality. What a guy. You've dropped back 19 places, mate. But the personality and the influence has only grown. Just sit down. I'll let you talk about yourself. I am not doing that. <laughs> All right. I'll talk about you. Let's talk a little bit about David Bakhtiari. I think what makes Dave great is athletically, I think he's more gifted than probably any tap. How are you going to talk about him when he's right there? <laughs> the way he moves, how he gets in certain positions, how he's able to recover. He's definitely mobile, bro, for a big man like that. It's pretty awesome. Davis. Ooh, nice wee, nice wee jump cut by the bad man there. Super fast for offensive line. And anytime we have a toss play going on his side, I kind of get excited. This 
couple games I've seen them like literally out in front of me and I'll just sit in this. Oh, that's so awesome. Does. You can see him on a perimeter whether he's pulling, he's looking to kill someone. <laughs> Imagine that, running behind David Bakhtiari moving like that with the size he is, okay? Looking behind him, knowing that, look, all I need to do is stay behind this guy to the right time. He's going to take this fella out. I'm going to zoom past him. Thank you very much. It's crazy to see it. Let's watch this shit. So strong. How, what's he thinking right now? Okay. He's obviously, he's not, he's not paying attention to this guy on the inside because he should be taken. He's probably got the, he's got the speed actually. He's got the speed to get past this guy. 17, Devontae Adams is going to take out one of these guys. 65 is about to absolutely flatten this guy. And really, the only one he needs to worry about is this fella here, the cornerback. And, um, well, David Bakhtiari is going to take him out. Now, is that how this player is going to pan out? Let's see. Playing in San Francisco last year, hit a corner. <laughs> I'm running up by him. I'm like, wow. Like, that was impressive. <laughs> yes, Technically, boy. Technically, with his hands, I think he's just about as good as any tackle you could put on film. One of the best, if not the best, pass blocking tackles in all of football. The hair certainly makes it, doesn't it? He's definitely one of the, one of the better technicians in the game. Plays well with his feet, great hands, and his technique is, is unmatched. You see him go against some of the elite pass rushers in the game and just sit there and still made him at home. Oh my god. Oh wait, we gotta watch that again. He the, the coil, do you call that the coil? Is that the coil? Taking all of that, you know, energy, coiling it up in your hips and your legs, you know, with a few steps, and, and, and basically stopping the guy in his tracks. Let's watch that again, man. That was intense. It's unmatched. You see him go against some of the elite pass rushers in the game and just sit there and still made him. Oh, bro. Do, do, do. You know, fucking stepping those back feet in, bro. You ain't going to push him over. Wow. The power generated with that. Wow, let's watch it again. Tim go against some of the Look at the speed of Bosa. Bosa's not small. That's rushing in the game and just sit there and stay Oh, bro, I love that shit. He broke Bosa's spirit within two seconds. Just then. You do that over and over and over again to a particular player in that battle that you're having, you're going to have it over him and you know it. It's not going to be easy for them. It's kind of funny to me how he does the snap count. He really looks at the center and then he kicks out. You can see his head looking back inside. He looks at Aaron Rodgers no matter who is on the outside of him because he thinks the most important part of playing left tackle is the get off. Holy shit. He will sacrifice looking in front at his opposite man so that he can know exactly when the snap goes and have no chance of either a late snap or an early snap to give away a penalty. That, that's, that's interesting. Who gets off the ball first? Watch this. He's going to make this first step before Mac even moves. That is really the key to what he can do. Bro, that's like two big balls going up against each other. Wow. Plays throughout the whistle and, and does things that um, not a lot of tackles do in this league. Makes him a, a very special player. Back to Yari, I chugged the front. What he said. Hang on, listen to this guy's voice, bro. Not back to Yari, but the, the interviewer. What? I, don't, I just don't get it. Does things that um, not a lot of tackles do in this league. Makes him a, a very special player. You leave anything out? What he said. Okay, what? Hang on, what was that accent? What was that accent at the end there? It was American, right? So the interviewer is American, but he kind of sounds like a bit of a nerd, I'm not gonna lie. I love nerds. I'm a nerd myself. I wanna see what he looks like. Maybe they can start including some of the questions that get asked to prompt these guys to give their spiel on these other players. Maybe they can start in including the interviewer being filmed asking the question. That could make it a little bit more interesting, a little bit more interactive. I'm not sure. What do you guys reckon? All I know is that David Bakhtiari, after having seen him a few times, having heard him talk, having seen him, you know, chug those beers, obviously having a good time, I feel like he is awesome. I really like him. I do. 
and I think the Green Bay Packers do too. So with all that being said, before we do go, I just want to know exactly how big this guy is because to see him coil up like that and stop Nick Bosa in his tracks was absolutely amazing. Um, let's have a look. He is younger than me by a year. What the fuck? Six foot four, 140 kg. Yeah. Played for the Packers his whole entire career. He's made two Pro Bowls, including that last year. He made one first team All Pro team the year before. Played 116 games, started 116 games, and uh, well, the rest is history. So guys, thank you uh, for watching once again, thank you so much, I appreciate it. In the next one, we're going to have a look at none other than Jarvis Landry. Now let me try and think about his nickname, what is it? Jarvis Landry, it's... Um Shit, what is it? What is his nickname? He plays for the Browns now. It's on the tip of my tongue. It's literally on the tip of my tongue. Jarvis Landry. Right, I'm going to think about it and I'll see you guys soon, okay? Like the video if you've liked it. Subscribe if you haven't. And thanks for being awesome. Peace out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go play that. Set you down, I'ma say that. Money me a couple dollars. Telling you now this payback. Huh, so I'll take that. Ask them now, we'll say that. I've been going to the top and I got what they not, so I know that they hate that. Uh, but I'm on now.